Hello everyone and welcome to another Heffy Doodle video. I've got some Heffy Cut Word dies and this excellent news stamp set and coordinating dies. This is what I'm playing with today. Hey, I know everyone's blaming me for the fog cardstock shortage. <coughs> Probably my fault, but I haven't personally bought it in months. But I did buy a lot. So, uh, I'm sorry. I'm taking some ThermoWeb purple tape and I'm taping down some Ranger watercolor paper with the bumpy side up, not the smooth side, smooth side down, and some Avery repositionable sheet. This is label sheets and it, they're repositionable. So I, I took a card front size, but I'm just masking off the top of my background here and I've pulled out some distress oxides I've got abandoned coral wild honey and fossilized amber I'm trying to create a beautiful sunset today was cardio day at the gym so I'm ready for you suckers <sighs> good ink blending is a little hard to do physically but it's totally worth it I've taken abandoned coral and I've blended that into the wild honey and then I'm gonna take more abandoned coral and blend that again and I'm gonna keep doing that until I get a I guess a background that I like the final shade at the top is going to be the fossilized amber I thought about adding squeezed lemonade but I thought that was a little bit too bright but now I really thought that I, I think that I should have added the squeeze lemonade to make up for that I'm grabbing fired brick which is a red shade so I'm deepening that sunset to try to get the look that I was going for but I still think that I should have used some squeezed lemonade at the top or maybe blended it into like white that would have been cool because now I'm going to reveal to you my background pulling up the Avery repositionable sheet and I think it turned out really pretty and I'm really glad that I deepened that red but I want to do the same thing but this time for the bottom so I'm going to reposition my repositionable label sheet and turn it around so that I can ink blend the grass now <laughs> When you blend distress oxides with distress ink we're about to find out so I have yet to purchase the new distress oxide so I'm gonna use distress ink I grabbed my little mode lawn uh, ink cube I'm using distress oxide in lucky clover but then I'm taking the distressed ink the original and blending that over top of the oxides it's actually quite stunning like it so I'm not sure why I haven't done this up until now but I'm gonna be doing that much more often now that little corner really did not want to stay down I don't usually have that problem with that repositionable sheet but for today it was I'm finishing up the grass by blending on some distress oxide and twisted citron and I am ecstatic about how it turned out So I'm using uh, this stitched rectangle die to cut out um, my panel. This is the size die I like to use. It measures three and a half by four and three quarters. We're taking the background piece and spritzing it with, sh with some Sukineko shimmer spritz. And I am liberal with this spritz. I know that it's really hard for you guys to see shimmer on camera, but I can promise you it is gorgeous. I've pulled out some cardstock and some zing embossing powder to use on my project. We're going to do something really fun. So I'm taking this MFT chicken wire uh, dynamics. It's a cover up die and it looks like chicken wire and I'm cutting it out of Nina 110 pound cardstock four times so there is going to be some really a lot of hexagons here I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with those yet but for now we're just gonna concentrate on the chicken wire but then I saw the mailman and I there's like a tree in the way and I needed to see behind the tree but I've got happy mail 
first things first, let's finish the card. So I'm going to cut this out four times. So I have four of these chicken wire cover up dies. How should I do this? I don't know. I'm looking at it and I'm, I set it aside. If I can't figure out what I want to do right away, I set it aside and move on to another area of the card and then I come back to it and usually I have an idea. I'm taking some Stick It Adhesive and this MFT, I think it's Coral Crush uh, cardstock. I'm putting some Stick It Adhesive behind it. We're going to use the Heffy Doodle Heffy Cuts Congrats Word Die and cut it out of this cardstock with the Stick It Adhesive already adhered on the back. So we'll basically be making stickers. So you use the bone folder to really press it onto your cardstock. And then I use the, precis ugh, the precision plate in my Sizzix Big Shot. I throw that congrats die in there and run it through just once. And it is cut perfectly, beautifully and wonderfully. And I did that four times. <laughs> Now I have four die cuts in front of me that already have adhesive on the back. So it's a little bit of a struggle to remove all the little parts and pieces that you don't need, the negative parts. But once you do, it is really easy to just line everything up and stick them together on top of each other. This isn't the only way to do this. You can also apply liquid adhesive to the back and stick them all together. And I'm actually using some spray adhesive later in the video, so keep watching. I absolutely love how this turned out. That coral color is gorgeous and it really matches my background. So that is four different die cuts. Now I've applied some double-sided adhesive to some white craft foam and stuck it to my arm quite smoothly, I might say. So let's put that where that's supposed to be on the back side of my background. So with double-sided adhesive, I adhere the craft foam to the back side of the panel and now it'll pop up onto my card base very nicely. So now I have to deal with those chicken wire layers and I'm going to use Elmer's spray adhesive. I've seen Laura Basson do this in her videos. Um, I've done it in the past, but I thought that this would be really handy to use on this big die. So um, I'm spraying it in my box to try not to put adhesive everywhere, but somehow I still ended up getting adhesive on my camera lens and my hands were sticky. So be aware that if you are breaking the rules and spraying this inside your house, it will get everywhere. But I easily lined up the bottom all the way to the top and this die, I don't think it's really hard to line up even with the little intricacies of the chicken wire. I use my little Nuvo brush to brush away any like hairs and paper fibers and stuff that get everywhere. And I spray it again on the backside to attach it to my card panel. Now I'm taking these uh, Excellent News stamp set by Heavy Doodle and I'm putting them in my Misty. I'm using the My Favorite Things Extreme Black. Now, Carrie Webster taught me to leave the label or to put a piece of tape on my lid so that I can keep the lid attached. If you haven't checked her out, she has a YouTube channel as well. She's a fantastic card maker. So I'm stamping out these images with Copic friendly ink so that we can do some Copic coloring. If you're not into this, you can skip ahead to 11 minutes and 27 seconds. Man, this video is long and you would pass the Copic coloring because it's not everyone's cup of tea. You know, some people don't like it. I will have a Copic color map on my blog that you can pin on Pinterest if you're interested in the exact markers that I used. Um, I tend to use the same thing, so if you're bored with that, I'm sorry. I, I'm a creature of habit. If I find something that I really like, I tend to go for it. What is that? Is that an addictive personality? It, it, it could be. Okay, so you can't ever expect too much from me when it comes to coloring or learning how to color. Um, I'm just using several shades, usually three to four uh, shades of Copic markers to uh, go from dark to light. I start in the darkest part of the image or where I believe the shadow might be. I never have a light source or think about a light source or any of that jazz. 
I know that there are more talented artists out there that could teach you that stuff correctly, but here on this channel, you just have me. So I'm sorry for that. You will not be able to learn light source or where to put the shadows if they're all standing in a group. I just really enjoy coloring. I think it's fun. I think it should be fun. It's very relaxing. And the results are amazing no matter what your uh, talent level is. You can only get better with practice and, you know, just go with it and have a good time. I know that I always say that, but I think everyone needs to hear it all the time. Um, this little egg turns out so cute. I cannot wait to show you. I have been loving using non-traditional red color for coloring. Like this co red color combination is very pink, but I love it. It is so great. Um, so yeah, again, I will have it on the, I, I don't know it by heart. Isn't that terrible? I have it written down somewhere in front of me, but I'm not going to rustle through the papers to get it. Okay, so I'm taking the solid heart from the Excellent News stamp set by Heffy Doodle, and I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn Glow in the Dark ink, uh, embossing powder. Can you tell? I'm so excited. Versamark ink. And then I'm using the acrylic block to stamp it down in the center of the egg that's not broken on my card. Okay, so I did this process several times. So I've learned that the glow in the dark powder doesn't want to stick. It might be heavier than typical embossing powder, so it falls off easy. So you really have to kind of build it up a little bit, but I probably only had to build it up like twice, two or three times, maybe three times. And it turned out fabulous, okay? Um, this is my daughter. Isn't she beautiful? She never wants to be on camera. She hates being on camera, but yeah, I'm still gonna use this clip. So I'm taking this heffy doodle masking tape and I'm pulling off a piece and I'm going to use it to mask half of my word die. So I'm using it to block off the top, ha top half of the congrats word die. Does that sound like English? Maybe. So I'm just taking the little Versamark cube and I'm inking up the bottom exposed part. And I know I lost the footage of the first embossing, but you get the gist. I'm coating the ink all over the bottom of this word die and then heating it up with my heat tool and then coating it again either with more embossing powder directly back into the powder or with more versamark ink i'm going to set that aside to dry while i clip off the edges of this uh chicken wire backdrop background chicken wire thing this was a little bit of a struggle. Um, it's hard to cut four layers of Nina 110 cardstock. So I used my huge Tim Holtz scissors and I seem to got, I have gotten the job done. Um, I think it looks great. So let's put this stuff together. What do you think? So I'm removing the uh, release paper from the back of the craft foam that I attached to the panel. Stuck that down on my Simon Says Stamp Fog card base and I'm using the coordinating dies from the excellent news stamp set. Why is it that when I press record, I become the most popular person in the house? So I'm using the excellent news coordinating dies and my die cutting machine to cut out my images. I'm going to use various types of adhesive to adhere them to my card. Uh, these dies are amazing. Like this little hand, it actually moves so that he could be holding something like the little egg pieces or the little baby egg. Oh, and so I'm using Scotch 3M foam adhesive. I'm using tape runner adhesive. I'm even using a little bit of Lawn Fawn glue tube to adhere everything down. But now that everything is adhered down, I've got my happy mail. My husband went to the mailbox. That makes me ecstatic. I want to add a sub sentiment to my card. So I'm going to end up stamping, um, heard you were expecting from the, the excellent news stamp set. Hello. Yeah. I did not even see that. I was completely oblivious to that right there. 
and the I'm going to use the heffy doodle strips of ease dies to cut out my sub sentiment. I just ended up embossing using zing charcoal embossing powder on some fog cardstock and I cut out some I popped it up on some scotch 3m foam tape. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Find me, find Heffy Doodle on social media. We love interacting with everyone in the crafty community. So please find us on social media and I'll talk to you again soon. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna show you something. I made a card. Look. Yeah. That's, but come in the bathroom with me. All right. Turn on the light. Oh God. Okay. Okay. So here's my card. Dexter is beating down the door. Okay.